What have I done? Oh man. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. It is pouring today. Great day to be in the garage working on the 2JZ Swap S14. Now, as you guys saw in last video, I installed the Chase Base radiator right there. You know, I cut everything up, got a set, but I did not like this wiring. I think that wiring looks a mess. This fuse box right here, I just think it kind of intervenes with the beautiful look of the 2J inside this engine bay. So, uh, this video, I'm going to remove the fuse box, take out all the wiring that goes into the car, and I'm going to replace it. I mean, I'm going to, yeah, replace it in a different location, whether under the dash or in the trunk. I am not 100% sure. Um, but before I go and do this, guys, please go down and subscribe and hit that post notification so you know which when the videos are coming out because it is going along pretty quickly. Unfortunately, this wiring will take a while because it's pretty in depth. Now, there's a couple ways that I've seen online and guys have told me they've done it. I've seen guys go and cut every single one of these wires. I think there are 60 something wires here. They cut them one by one by one and they number each side of the wire, you know, one, one, two, two, three, three. And that way they can separate the wiring, the inside and this box, bring this box inside and they splice every single wire back together. Now, I, I could do that. I want to see if I could avoid doing that because that's that's a hell of a lot of work and very easy to make a mistake somewhere. Uh, another guy told me that um, I can open this up and take it totally apart. All right, you know, each one of these sections could come apart and I can wire or like dewire everything going into the car because you know, these sound stupid. And they put the wiring under here in the wheel well. I don't know if you guys can see that, which is stupid because then the wheels hit it. Actually, my horns didn't work because the horn wire was eaten through by the wheel. Go figure. Now, so I know guys take this apart and feed it through. There's another guy told me that, you know, he also owns an S14. He took it apart from the interior. Now, on the interior, there is very few plugs. You know, you just follow the harness to those few plugs and you fish it out that way. And now you have the entire system, both ways you have the entire system intact, which I really like. Then I can either shorten it, you know, then I'll have to cut and splice and shorten it to put it under the dash or just bunch it together and zip tie the hell out of it and put it under the dash. Or since this goes all around the car, I might be able, you know, the wiring is in there. I might be able to follow it to the back into the trunk next to the battery uh, box. So either way, I think it's a good idea. I think the trunk might be a little bit easier. I don't know if I'm going to keep the airbag because guys have told me, as I mentioned last video, guys have told me that the airbag can go off if you launch like really hard. And look at this turbo. I'm going to launch really hard. So if that airbag goes off, it cracks the windshield and it messes up the dash. I really hope that doesn't happen. So I don't know if I'm gonna take the airbag out or not. And uh, so I might put this where the airbag was or in the trunk. As you can see here, this these are all the light wirings, you know, the lights up front. You can see that they were pretty hacked up because remember, this is a 95. And if you guys haven't seen my car, like if you guys wanna, damn plane. If you guys want to see what the front of my car looks like when it was actually together, go right up there and watch that video. You can actually see it together. Um, it is a Zen Geeks. It's a 95, but it was converted to a Kuki. So the lights were all changed up. So I'm going to have to cut this open, the wire loom, and release all the light wires. Take them out of there because the light wires are going to stay. And this fat harness is what's going to be removed. It gives it a lot of more of a cleaner look and I already have a tucked radiator. Bam. So let's I want to keep the clean vibe going here, you know? Here I go. Let us start by unlooming the wire loom. They say that love is a feeling. Yeah, it's a feeling. Ta-da! 
Ah, look at it. Everything's apart. This looks. This is just crazy. How many wires? Oh man. All right, so I did this. Now I can separate the light wires from all this, so they can stay separated and stay up front. And then the rest of it, you know, gets pulled whatever direction. Quick update, I'm just continuing delooming the whole wire harness. I'm gonna have to go all the way. I'll probably take this out just to make my life a little bit easier. On this side, I took out the windshield wiper reservoir. Um, I can't use it anyway because the turbo piping's gonna have to go through here. Uh, gotta take this out and no idea what this is for. I honestly have no idea. Can you guys tell me what this is? I thought this was like for, you know, like automatic starters, but I don't think I had an automatic starter. I did have a Viper one. Maybe that has to do with that. Hopefully I can remove that. Less wires. So that was just a quick update. Just going to take all this off. Just going. Going. Trying to take this apart. But as you can see, it intertwines with the other wires, of course. So, yep. Let's get this going. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to go the route of taking apart the fuse box as you can see i've already started um it was a little tough figuring it out but over here let's see if you guys can see it over here there's little tabs you just got to pull them like inward and this pulls out this one has a tab on this side just stick a flathead in there and over here and then this one pulls out and then same thing with this one there's a tab here and I think that was it. Oh, there might be one right in there. I'm not sure. I haven't tried this one yet. So, you know, I, I can't really film this and take it out. So I'm just going to take them out one at a time and then show you guys how it looks. Oh, man. This wiring is killing me. I just went crazy removing a Python alarm system that someone, the previous owner, had put at an aftermarket. And, man, if my car don't start because of this, I'm going to be pissed. What's up guys, welcome back to day two. Uh, here we have my wiring mess. Uh, it's not as bad as it looks, it really isn't. This just looks bad because I separated from the fuse box, but it's not that bad. Everything is just on its own. This wire right here, I believe is the aftermarket alarm system. It goes over here. You can see it spliced into the lights. Uh, so that way, you know, when the alarm goes off, lights flash. These two are my headlights. This is part of my blinker lights, not blinker, the daytime running or whatever it's called and blinkers over here. So these two, I think these two are the fog lights, the OEM fog lights from the Zenki. But you know, as you guys know, the, those fog lights were removed, never to be put back. So I'm gonna remove these wires all the way back. In order to get this bunch of wires, this bunch of wires back, I think I figured it out. I think what I'm gonna do is cut the wires at the lights that way, and number the wires and that way I can fish everything back and just splice in new wires from wherever inside it ends up to the new to the headlight wires. So for example, these right here are my light wires, right? These are the ones I currently use. So if you were to follow these, these are these red ones, right? They go this way into the car so if i cut them here these which ones are they these light wires if i cut them here and number them you know one one two two three three then i can put them back in the same exact spot and the grounds over here you can see this is uh I, they all just connect right here so all i have to do is i can just leave all these because they all come forward to the lights all i have to do is cut this one that goes to the fuse box and then reground it later and on this side similar i'll probably cut this side that way the lights stay grounded and i'll just rewire these that's in the wire harness and once these lights are free the wire harness is totally free and i can fish it each of these one by one i'm gonna have to take these little blocks out so it could fit through the hole and it'll come this way into that hole and into the car and it's that simple like the concept is very simple it's just very very time consuming all right guys let me give you a really quick update i did the passenger side already you can see all the blue markings it's like unknown gray plug i have no idea what this is for this side totally separated done now on this side i'm gonna hop over here 
and I'm gonna show you guys real quick my idea of doing this or my way of doing this. All right, check it out. Um, just grab one of these. I'm gonna grab this one right here. This is my side marker light. Here's the ground and the way I cut it, I'm leaving the grounds connected and whatever ground is in the wire harness, I'm, I cut that and I'm bringing it back. So this ground stays, so I'm just gonna cut this power line. So I'm gonna grab two pieces of tape, put it on either side, marker, and I'm gonna write, write, marker, light. I'm gonna write it on both, snips, pow, and fish it through, and there we go. This side marker light is now free from the harness. Now I'm gonna do it to this one, which is my headlight, and this one, which is the high beam. Well, one's a high beam, one's a headlight. So just do it with these two, and now this side will be totally free. All right, there we go. Everything is totally free, look at this. Free from this side, and free from this side. No wires attached, and everything is still in place through grounds and labeled. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put you guys on a time lapse of me taking these wires out this way through this little hole and I'm gonna pile them here just so I can feel good about myself knowing that it's working. Then I'm gonna go back in the car and remove all those boxes I showed you guys. cleanliness no wires room it's awesome i love it not loving that so much that's not looking cool but it's free as you can see it's free i gotta pull it through here but then i saw these wires and i noticed that it goes to the brake reservoir and the power steering pressure i think it was so i'm just gonna disconnect them and bring them in the car i don't think i'm gonna need them for the swap so let's go under the dash and loosen some things. All right, here we go under the dash. There is our fuse box and whatever this little white thing is, I don't know. But in order to make room for the wire harness to come through, because you know, big pieces, I'm gonna have to start loosening stuff up in here. So I'm gonna start with loosening this fat wire, loosening this, taking it out of the way and this and that and whatever I can move it out of the way so I can bring in the harness all right as you can see I started freeing up what I can free up and the wire harness is starting to be pulled through see this isn't too bad oh, guys look no wires gone I didn't have to cut that in the wheel well at all all everything fit from the fuse box took it apart and routed it all it, everything fit it fit like it was tight like don't get me wrong it was lucky my brother was here to help me he was fishing the wires in while i was under here but then feeding these it was it wasn't too bad just watch your wires be careful look at the angle of the wires so you can fish it the right way and I mean, you know, did get a couple of scrapes and bruises doing this, but it's all right. It was totally worth it. Look, look at this. Everything is inside. Labels are still on. All I got to do is put all that back together. But before I put that back together, I will weld that hole that's in under the wheel well. This was the one that gave me the biggest problem. This was the biggest block. I had to take these little relays off, but I mean, you can't get them wrong when you put them back you know they're pretty much color coded and if you're gonna take them off just take pictures before you um take them off and then uh, you can put them right back on even these little guys put them right back on green green brown look at that easy freaking peasy 
it wasn't too bad oh man and you can see that this wiring is super freaking long look at this look at that thing if i want to put it in the trunk it'll more than easily make it all the way to the back so i do have that option trunk or remove the airbag and put it behind the dash if i put it behind the dash where the airbag is i will have to remove the entire dash panel so i can feed these wires that way and reconnect all of these that i cut and feed them back through the car one way or another i don't know if i'll go through the wheel well again yeah connecting the lights that's gonna be another time i do want to get the front end going i want to get this engine area going i want to put on the like radiator securely and fasten down i really really want to put that intercooler that's back there i really want to mock it on with all the pipe work and fittings still debating if i should paint the engine bay or not i don't know because that's a lot of work and i just want to get this car rolling already i don't want to spend another two weeks just prepping and fixing and painting and bondling and welding all the holes and prepping everything you know that's like an easy two weeks especially you know you're gonna work in the way and stuff like that but that's it wiring boom baby all right guys thank you so much for watching this i really hope this helps your future 240 owners and you know this might go for multiple cars do not fear the wiring just look at it pay attention to what you're cutting label everything it's so important to label everything with painter state and just follow through just pay attention to what you're doing take your time so you don't pull any wires or anything like that or cut any wires look at the wires carefully if they're really old and frayed you know as soon as you bend them they might crack might be time for new wires um but don't be afraid tackle the jobs wholeheartedly all right all right guys remember go down subscribe hit that post notifications and always work hard Stay humble.